resolution of transmittal to the office of the president of the proposed proclamation enforcing the rate of 1899 Philippines Constitution. Ngayon, ito ang nilalaman ng resolusyon. Pakingganin nyo ha. Whereas there is a need for a joint manifestation from the concerned citizenry reminding President Duterte of his duty to protect and promote the welfare of the people who are the possessor of ultimate welder of power and sovereignty of the nation. Whereas there is a need to approach Approach deeply in trans government and oligarchic corruption as manifested in the way the utilities of water, power, tollways, and communication are managed and controlled by private rent seeking interest. Whereas the people are threatened by mandatory order through the overreach of police power leading to unconsented forced pandemic vaccination that are breaching existing individual constitutional protection. Whereas the presence of millions of padded voters in the Comelec registry and their potential use in the coming 2022 election represent the clear and present danger to the own mill exercise of the Filipino people electoral sovereignty. Whereas only through the innovation of the 1899 Constitution and calling for the shift of allegiance by Filipino to the Dihore 1899 Philippine Constitution can be clear up the cheating and dishonesty of our election process so that the sovereign will of the people can truly be reflected in a genuinely mandated governance. Whereas amendment to the 1899 constitution can be crafted so as to be consistent with existing municipal law and the letter and spirit of the constitution as well updating and retrofitting it to fit our current requirement. Whereas by adopting the parliamentary setup as embodied in 1899 Constitution, the practice of the head of government facing his or her member of parliament per weekly to explain transparently governance operation will expose the maggot of corruption in our midst, thus mitigating, if not eliminating, this cancer that permit our rotten presidential form of governance. Whereas the 1899 Constitution will not just be transition constitution, but it will be our actual constitution, henceforth, just like the 1776-1789 Constitution of the United States of America. Whereas the Filipino people has always been the repository of the nation, sovereignty, and the welfare of the people is the supreme law, and the voice of the people is the voice of God. Whereas the 1987 Constitution has become a constitution of convenience with its crucial provision floated, flaunted, I mean, and ignored like Articulo 12 that must be implemented in time of crisis as the current pandemic shows mutilated and illegally amended like the invention of constructed resignation to justify the unlawful move to us the legitimate Arab presidency. Ignored blatantly and persistently as in the political dynasty conjunction that up to now has now ennobling law decade after the constitution promulgation in 1987. Whereas, in fact, you, our president, 
on many important occasions challenge us all Filipino and the armed forces of the Philippines as to whether or not we are prepared to support you in the declaration of the revolutionary government. Whereas only by either your declaration of a transition to, revo transition to revolutionary government or a similar action by the protector of the people, can we as a nation impeach the flawed presidential system that has been dominated by oligarch and feudal influences and shift to the parliament governance under the 1899 constitution. Whereas otherwise all our effort now and the blood, sweat and tears of our forefathers would be in vain with the social and political malice that would continue under the already broken 1987 constitution without the necessary shift to the 1899 Constitution. Whereas we, under your leadership, should not allow this historic opportunity and appointment with destiny to slip through our fingers during our exigent time where bold and courageous choices and decisions are called for. Whereas you are our last light in our time tunnel and our final beacon of hope for future generation. Elsewise, we remain adrift in the sea of road, rudderless uncertainty, desperation and destitution as a nation. Whereas now we, the public, together you, together with you, I mean, fluently and urgently stand with you to invoke the constitutional out of office and duty to redress this new multifarious grievances now confronting the nation. Without you and the people are both contractually bound to perform such prospective duties to abide by the rule of law where salos populi is supreme lex. Therefore, be it resolved as it is hereby resolved to reinstate the writ of the Hori Philippine Constitution promulgated on January 23, 1899 by Captain General and Commander-in-Chief of, of our Army, Emilio Aguinaldo, and for the same to be enforced by our Excellency President Rodrigo Rua Duterte, current president of the Philippines. Resolve further that this assembly of citizens affixing their signature to this document stand with you as our president in using your mandate power to redress our collective grievances by enforcing the threat of the 1899 Philippine Constitution as the ultimate organic law of the land. Resolve further that President Rodrigo Duterte and or the leadership of the armed forces of the Philippines in their natural rule as protector of the people ensure a peaceful shift of their allegiance from the broken de facto constitution of the 1907 to the supreme and sovereign 1899 Philippine Constitution. Resolve further that should President Duterte bring his out of duty to address our call of the collective relief of our justified grievances by enforcing the threat of the 1899 Philippine Constitution, then we the signatories to this document in the alternative, we'll stand with the protector of the people to provide the relief of our collective grievances as needed. Resolve further, a draft of required proclamation be presented as follows to the office of the president. So ito ang proposed proclamation ay papadala natin sa Pangulo. Proclamation XXX 
kung ano mga number gusto niya ilagay diyan series of 2021 a proclamation enforcing the right of the 1899 Philippine Constitution I Rodrigo Duterte Eroa by circumstances and development of events during the dormancy of the 1899 Constitution now recognized by extant law of the interregnum as president of the Philippines and commander-in-chief of its armed forces, acknowledged that the Assembly of Representatives of Nation in 1899 and President Emilio Aguinaldo e. Fami, by virtue of sovereign power vested in them, had decreed and sanctioned the political constitution of the state done at Malolos on the 21st of January in the year 1899 to be enforced and ordered authorities, civil as well as military, of whatever class or rank, to keep it and cause it to keep complied with and executed in all its parts because it is the sovereign will of the Filipino people. Guidance from this office will be issued in accordance with the pertinent transitory provision as sanctioned in this 1899 Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. By virtue of power vested in me as President of the Republic, done in the city of Manila, Malacanang, this day of September 2021, signed Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Resolve further, resolve furthermore, that this resolution calling for the enforcement of the 1899 Philippine Constitution as passed in the Assembly of the Shadow 1899 Philippine Congress be circulated throughout the Philippines using all form of media to collect signature of approval and support from all Filipino citizen to help us God. Dan this day, bukas na to namin eh, pag-usapan, kumapinalize to bukas, kapitsa nito ay 21 of August, this day of, this 21st of August 2021 by the 1899 Philippine Congress session year 2021. Signed, Speaker of the House Bienvenido Lorque in attendance and signature collected from the web by circulation. Signature collected physically by Congressional District. So ito ang proposed joint resolution na pag-uusapan bukas at na-translate namin ito sa Cebuano, na-translate sa Tagalog, At kanina, dumating sa email ko ang translation sa Ilocano. So, ang isa pa nahintay ko na ang translation sa Tausog. So, pag na-translate ito lahat sa bawat dialekto na nakakarami, sa majority na dialect, I mean, ng mga Pilipino, madali ito maunawaan ng ating mga mamamayan. At dahil na-post din ito sa Facebook, tingnan din ninyo. at analisahin ninyo kung ito ba ang ginagawa natin ay mali o tama. Ito lang ang isa ko kakomparasyon. Sabihin natin na 1899 Constitution ayan ay ang tunay nating ama at ang Pilipinas ay ating ina. Kung ganyan ang example, noong mag ang ating ama na 1899 Constitution at ang ating ina na Republika ng Pilipinas. At inagaw ng Amerikano ang ating ina at nagtayo sila ng 1935 Constitution. Sino ang tunay mong ama? Ang 1935 Constitution o ang 1899? Maliban doon, Sa 1935 Constitution, noong panahon ng Hapon, inagaw naman ng Hapon ang ating ina. 
masabi mo kaya na ang konstitusyon na ginawa ng mga Hapones ay tunay nating ama. At ibaliwala lang natin ang ating ama na 1899 konstitusyon. At basahin ninyo, simula dyan sa 1935, 1946, 1973, hanggang sa 1987. Ito ang napaka-importanting bagay. Hindi na-abrogate o hindi na-repeal ang ating konstitusyon. Sabi lang nila, na-supersede. Pero hindi na-repeal. So ano ang supersede? Kung si Atty. Magdamo pa ang pa... Kung uh, according to uh, the explanation of Atty. Magdamo, pinagpapatong-patong mo ang mga silya. So the, the first chair was been supersede by the second chair and again it was supersede by the third uh, chair. So on and so on. Pero ang original ng chair, doon sa, sa pinakababa na chair na, na supersede ng nasa taas, na-repeal ba? Hindi. So, legally speaking, hindi ako abogado. So, kaya ito, bukas, uh, dahil doon sa plenary session ng uh, shadow government, pag-uusapan ito ng mga uh, iba't ibang uh, grupo, dahil joint ito. At uh, kanina may nag-message sa akin na uh, uh, nakahanda na rin sina Normie Suare makipagsalamuha at makipagtulungan na makamit natin ang federalismo dito sa, bat, sa ating bata. So, ang federal parliamentary form of government, kung maipagpatuloy natin yan at magwagi tayo sa laban, yan lang isang dahilan na maikorek natin ang kamalian natin na ginawa noon pa man. Oh, oh, oh. 